Hi everyone, it's Christy. Let's decorate this roly-poly pocketbook. Um, here's where we left off yesterday. We um, just took the chipboard pieces and wrapped them in uh, craft cardstock. I, I want to say this is probably 65 pound weight. It's it's pretty thin. Um, and so I think the first thing I want to do is cover the spines here. Um, I do have, this is the, um, it says Vintage Botanical, but this is an Artie Mays kit. It's called Patchwork Botanicals, and I used it um, way back when I first, like I think my second journal, um, I used this, and I just love it. It's um, lots of floral, grungy, um, geometrics, um, just a, a bunch of, I got the whole ki kit in Caboodle. There were, uh, I think there was a main kit and an add-on kit. And so I have printed out, I don't know what I did with those, is that all? Oh, there it is on the bottom. Um, gee whiz, I'm a little disorganized, I thought I had it all together. Um, I did print out some ephemera on uh, five by seven just to, to fit it uh, in here because this is smaller but you can see all the lovely goodies that come in this kit and um, these are five by seven so uh, these were humongous t uh, tickets and um, yeah this is a fun 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 little kit um, all right so I want to cut Let's see, I'm on about a quarter of an inch shy of the five. So I'm just going to, I guess I'll just do five inches. Where's my, find my, helps if you can find the cutter. Let me get this out of the way for a second. So I am going to cut this because I want to get several strips out of this. Um, I'm just going to do five inches. I can use this for something else. And as far as width, I probably want the one and a quarter plus another quarter plus another quarter. So one and three quarters. Let's see if that would do it. One and three quarters which should work um, on that one anyway. So one and three quarters. So I'm doing a half an inch. The other one was 0.75, so I want one and a quarter. And the other one was three eighths. I don't even know where that would be on here, here I suppose. So I will do five eighths, right? Seven eighths. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to cover these up before I mat these pages. And, um, it occurred to me that I probably should have used, because see I still have a lot of wrinkling on here, but I probably should have used the um, the Uhu glue stick to put those um, pieces on and then I would not have had all that um, curling. So, oh well. What do they say? Hindsight's 2020. So let me get some glue flowing here. And we'll get these pieces on and start matting away. So it's Friday. I hope you guys all have fun plans for the weekend. I don't think we have anything planned. Um, my husband works on Saturdays, so our weekends are Sunday, Mondays. So I'm just going to stick that on there for a second. And then I think I may score that after it dries. So this is leaving about 
an eighth of an inch top and bottom which is perfect now I thought about using fabric but the reason I didn't use the fabric is I am not going to be sewing anything in here this is going to be a kind of well I guess like a pieces parts journal you know just for keeping track of things and I think I'll put like a pad on one page and we'll do pockets and tucks and things on the other pages um, okay let's see I don't really want to go too hard in here because I don't want it to come up and I'm thinking if I just let it dry then I can score it so let's let's see how that goes all right let's do the next one yeah I think this is really fun I think this will if it turns out in my head I think I said this before if it turns out anything like what it is in my head then it'll be really cute so okay let's do about an eighth of an inch on either side of those folds And if I'm not perfectly straight, I'm not really concerned about it because, like I said, I'm going to be um, going to be covering it. We're going to be matting all these pages. So, all right, let's try this last one. There, there is um, a difference in the sides of this craft card stock. There is a rougher side and a <laughs> less rough side. It's not really a shiny side, but. Um, I can try gluing on on the less textured side. Um, it does have a natural curl to it, um, so maybe that'll help with the I don't know help with the curling. I don't know. We'll see. And these are smaller pieces too, so they are most of the time a little bit easier all right let's get this one on here yeah I did pretty good Oops. like I said I don't want too much scoring in there yet because I want it to go ahead and dry but it is helpful if I can see the lines. Didn't do too bad on the seepage either. I don't see any glue coming out, so that's good. Just have to coax it into staying. See, I don't know if you can see that, but as soon as I go into that little crease, this lifts up. So. All right, I'm going to leave that the way it is for now. Okay, so this is the front cover here. So we have the front cover, the spine. I'm going to mark this for myself here. Um, top, right, and cover, spine, back, which you sh you'd think I'd be able to figure it out. Um, there's another spine in here. Um, it did bubble up. Maybe I'll put some lace on the spines. We'll see. And I think there's a spine here. So as long as I know that these are the, so these two are going to be inside the book. I could put pockets or whatever on there. So, um, all right. What do I want on the cover? I, there was a perfect piece that I wanted to use it was this one I just love that with the uh, flower and the butterfly but it's lined paper and then as I was looking through 
I don't see another one like that without the lines. So, let me get this up here where you can see. Um, yeah, those are all lined. And I don't want to use this one. I used that on the cover of the other one. The first journal, I think the first or second, no, it wasn't the first. It was the third journal I post, third or fourth journal. I don't know. It was at the beginning, over a year ago. I did this one, I believe, with the pansies, yeah, for my mother-in-law. And I used a hanging file folder for the cover. So I think I'm going to use this one here. Oh my gosh, though. What are, I like this one, too. I think I'm going to use that one. All right. You know, I'm going to change my mind 14 times. <laughs> All right, so the size of those pages, if I remember correctly, was five and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm just going to do three by five. So I'm going to cut off this little white edge over here. So I want this to be three inches wide. Sure that's straight and let's see I've got three here almost two there I want to make sure I get that butterfly in there so I think and then maybe a word so let's let's trim right above the butterfly and then go five I'll have to open my arm Okay, now the question is, to ink or not to ink? I really like that. Now see, I was thinking putting a word here, but now I'm thinking right there on the dotted line. That's really cool. All right, well let's find an ink. What color ink do we want to use? Um, I can use my new blending tool. I used saddle, kind of, I guess I could make this a grungier, grungier one. It's not really a, not chocolate though. What else I got? Oh, the cocoa's darker than the chocolate. Um, but the desert sand and the saddle are getting kind of dry. The saddle is um, on the pink side. I think I am going to use the chocolate. So, all right. And I haven't used this yet, so we'll see how that, how it feels. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. I hope this one's not getting, I haven't used this one near, nearly as much, so it should be, oh, yeah, that's perfect. I like that, how it goes with, um, the grunge that's already there. So, yeah. This feels like I have much more control with the bigger handle than just holding it with my fingers and feeling like it's going to fly away. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to grunge this up a little bit. So let's just go along. Actually, I think I'll do it down here. We'll do it like this. Because you know what? I can wipe this off. Just a little bit. So I'm going to grunge this up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's all grunged up. Now I want to put this piece on the cover and I um, did notice it was lifting on the other side and I was able to use a little bit of the Uhu to kind of scrape under the parts that were lifting. But my concern is I don't want the whole piece, you know, when it's dry, sometimes the the glue stick kind of lifts up. 
Um, I don't know if that's just the dry air where I live or what, but I have that problem with all glue sticks. So, all right, now we will put more on this cover later. This is just for now. I'm just matting. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it already. And I want that to make good contact. Okay, so on the back, and I did go ahead and grunge that up real well, so, okay. On the back, I think I can use this piece here. Um, it may get part of a butterfly, let's see. Was it three? Yeah, that's gonna cut right through my butterfly, so. Let's move this over a smidge. Well, let's cut this side first, because I know I want to use this for one of the other pages. So let's just... I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Okay. Cut that off. Now we will cut off the three inches here. I know I have at least three inches here. And there we go. So that'll give me one piece. And now we have the butterfly in there. And I have a one inch strip, I'll save that. You never know. All right, so I think perhaps I will save the back and use these for yeah, so let's see, what is that going to look like when I have that? I'm going to, this will be like so, and then this will be the next one. So I think I can put this one here, and then this one will be here, like that. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Alright, so now I need to cut these down to five. So let's do the same thing with this. We'll go right above the maybe quarter inch. Oh, I like that sunflower. Trying to make sure that it's at least five inches long down this way, which it's not. So I'm sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? I um I had my camera on the higher shelf at one point but the sound didn't work very well. And also, it took a picture of all my junk. So, I, you know, I couldn't have that. that. I mean, you know, that's embarrassing. I know, we all have junk, but... Actually, I do need to clean off my desk. I keep saying that, but it's starting to close in on me. And then it... I don't know if it does this for you, but when I start cleaning, I seem to make a bigger mess than I had to begin with. And then I put things away and I can't find them. So, I don't know. I have a, a love-hate relationship with cleaning my, my workspace. It stayed cleaner, I'll tell you, when I was working in the other room. But then I thought, well, I would like a place where I could leave all my stuff out. You know, that way I could be working on something and come back to it and not have to clean off the kitchen table so I can make dinner, you know. And, um, yeah, it stayed cleaner when I had to clean off the kitchen table. So now I just seem to keep adding to it because I don't necessarily have to put it away. But I do pick up my tools after. Um, and I try to put things away that go with a certain project. But, you know, there's times when you're working on two or three projects at the same time. Like right now, I've still, I'm still working on um, getting my little golden books up on Etsy because that is time consuming. I'll tell you what, taking the pictures and doing all the listings, 
um, especially, you know, when you're new and you, you know, you have to read everything. <laughs> um, it takes, it takes a while. And, um, I'm still working on the, um, five page journals. I've got them mostly finished. I need to sew in the pages, then those will be finished. And then, um, I've got my, my 12 multiple, um, traveler's notebooks. I finished two, but the other 10 still need the tags cut. So everything's mostly finished, but I need a catch up day. And on Sunday, I did nothing because I came home. My son and I were on coffee crew, which I love doing coffee crew, but it, it's on your feet from 8.30 to, to 1.30, basically. And, um, I love it because I get to see everybody, but, um, when I get home, I'm just, I'm beat. So I sat in my, sat in my chair and I kept thinking, oh, I need to go do this or go do that. And I never got around to it. So, all right. I think that is the way I would like to do it. So. Let's get some glue on here. I'm trying to think of the next project. I have a few things that, you know, I have written down. When I see something really cool, I try to uh, make a note of it to come back and visit it. Um, sometimes I don't know what I wrote in my notes, and so it'll have, <laughs> have something there. And if I didn't write down where I saw it, I have no clue and so if I google it I may get something completely different and I'll look it up and I'll be like I don't remember that at all what is that but um, yeah I try to keep a, a list of projects I would like to do and oh, that's off a little bit let's get that centered and but if you guys have anything that you would like to see specifically um, I know somebody had asked for a folio that's why I did the Christmas folio um, but um, I would you know I would love to to look, look I love to research I love to look things up I love to learn new things um, I have seen a few new binding techniques that I'd like to try. Um, I'm not sure I'm into the really complicated, um, you know, crisscross 27 stitches, you know, and, and all of those. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that I'm up to that. Although, you know what, if you challenge me, I'll probably try it. But, um, but yeah, there are some really neat bookbinding techniques that I have never heard of that I think would be fun to try. And not only that, but today I was on YouTube and up came a recommendation for an old craft show. And oh my word, I was I was looking at these projects they were doing thinking, wow, and when we did those back, I'm talking about the year 2000. Okay, that was that these episodes were dated May 2000, I think. Um, this stuff was awesome. It was, you know, when we started scrapbooking, at least when I started scrapbooking. Um, and all this stuff, and oh my gosh, everybody did everything with pinking shears and um, decorative scissors, cutting out the photos, and <laughs> we've come a long way. But I, I, I think sometimes it's good to revisit some of these old techniques and bring them up to date. You know what I mean? Um, even, you know, even just mini albums have changed so much in the last, gosh, even last 70 years, you know, from when I started watching YouTube. We've, we've come a long way there, too. So, um... I will say that I love the junk journal community. I love that there are so many people willing to share um, their knowledge, 
you know, for free. And if, if, if I can give a little bit of that back, you know, I want to do that too. So that's why when I come up with, I don't come up with a lot of ideas, but when I do, sometimes they're okay. That's going to look cool, guys. So what, what do I want to put back there? Anyway, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm just rambling. Does, I guess these should go here. This is the same as this, so I think I'll just use that piece to fill in that back. So, um, maybe use this section here because it's a little bit different, but it's the same, the same colors, so let's do that. Now, I think I mentioned already, this kit is from Artie Mays, so it, it's A4 size. Um, and I have not adjusted it. I've printed it out in the A4 size. Um, but I did print it out on the 8x10 print setting. When I hit print, I chose 8x10. Just so it was a little bit smaller. Um, oh, I'll put it away again. i to do the other way. Um... Just to make it a little bit smaller. And then on the ephemera, I printed those on the 5x7 so that they would be uh, small enough to fit. Because I want to be able to use the pockets and tags and such. So, you know, these digital kits are the way to go. Um, for me, anyway. I, I really enjoy being able to, to print um, what I need. And, you know, there's so many talented artists on Etsy that, you know, I want to support them if I can. So, not to say that I won't buy, you know, scrapbook kits at Hobby Lobby, because you all know I do, if I see it, <laughs> and it's half price. Um, there are so many nice things, but, you know, I like to, to support our... Etsy creators as well, and um, yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff there. Boy, I'm just a chatty Kathy today, I'm sorry guys. Some days I just don't have anything to say, and I'm like, you know, blank like that. <laughs> I got, that's when I have too many things on my mind. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta do my taxes. I gotta keep, finish putting in all my expenses, all my shipping and stuff, because I haven't done my shipping receipts. And, you know, so all this stuff is going on in my mind while I'm sitting here doing a, doing a craft with me. So, you know, I, I don't like to use the term tutorial. I mean, I'm showing you how I do it. I'm not showing you the only way to do it. Um, so, you know, I have a hard time using the word tutorial, but this is just one way. But I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is fun. Isn't that cool? I just love it. I don't, I don't think I want to fold this up yet. I'm still having some issues over here, but when I mat these, um, I, I think that will help hold this down as well. So I'm going to choose some papers and mat this side, and then I'll be back to show you what I did. Okay, guys, I finished matting it. It needs to dry a little bit, but um, this is how it's going to look. Um, I think I'm probably going to run a piece of lace along here to bring that out. If I, Like I said, if I was going to do this again, I would make this piece right here just a tad shorter and this one a tad longer. Um, but I think, I think it's still gonna, going to work. Um, so this will open and open and open. I um, do need to let this dry before I fold it up, though. So there's the inside, there's the outside. Um, oh, I just, I love these papers. These are perfect, I'm glad I chose these. Um, so anyway, I will leave the link to this kit. This is the Patchwork Botanicals by Artie Mays. I will leave the link in the description box below um, for that. So anyway, tomorrow we'll start act, act, 
adding some uh, pockets and tags and more. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.